data works with four main types of files. The first one has a .dta extension and contains data. There are several ways to open a dataset. We will do it manually by clicking on File, Open, look inside your data folder. Here we have some .dta files. Let's open the first one. We did it manually, but we can see on the review window the last command executed, used, followed by the path of the file that we opened. Here we have the variable names and their labels. The second type of file has a that do extension. It contains stata commands. Let's create our first do file. File, new do file. We can save it manually. You can see here the extension that do. Our first command is clear all. It will erase everything Stata has in memory, including the dataset we just opened. You can execute the entire do file by clicking on the run icon up here. As you can see, the variable window is now empty. When working on different computers or with other people, it's useful to start your programs specifying where is the folder you are going to work with. The command for this is cd, change directory, followed by the path of the folder you are using. I copy paste my own path to the data folder. Whenever you want to execute a single command, you can highlight it and click on the run icon. Let's add now the use command that we executed manually before. If tomorrow me or one of my coworkers want to reproduce my actions, we only need to run the do file introduction that do. The third type of file is called a log file. It records everything that comes out on the result window. I will not give an example in this case. The last type are the edu files. I'm going to open one. They contain the algorithms for stata commands. Here we have the edu file for the command clear that we used before. As a personal advice, if you want stata to keep working properly, do not modify the edu files.